first of all i uh, what we have to do is we have to we have to clear our pallet uh, like we have to clean the pallet because we need very 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 pure colors like we don't want the gray to be present right now at this moment okay so first and foremost we will completely wet the paper okay are you guys watching so i am taking i am taking a big brush i am taking a very big brush and this you have to do prop like you have to first and foremost secure the paper the paper has to be properly secured like if you have loose paper then put it put uh, uh, one inch tapes all around and then you secure the paper well and then you wet uh, then what i am doing is i am completely wetting the paper like the paper has to be fully wet okay so i am now applying good quantity of water see the amount of water it's just pure water so i am going in zigzag way like slowly i am going down in a zigzag way ye paper ko acche se pani pilana hai like in hindi if i say पेपर को अच्छे से पानी में डुबाना है उसको पूरा पूरा उसको पानी में भर देना है सो द कंप्लीट पेपर हैज टू बी फुल्ली वेट ओके वंस यू डू दैट इफ यू आर नॉट सेटिस्फाइड इफ यू थिंक दैट इट्स नॉट येट प्रॉपरली वेट देन यू अगेन गो विथ लिटिल वाटर सॉरी या सो यू अगेन go and again wet it like pura usko pani mein dubana hai like this slowly so not not a square inch of space should be left without water okay don't do it just see what i am doing so people who are having uh, those who are having uh, different brand of paper not chitrapat they have to do it even more because the water because the color will not flow that well in your your kind of paper okay so uh, in chitrapat what happens the, the the color will flow very smoothly but in uh, in case of cellulose paper or mixed paper what happens is it will flow a little diff, uh, like there is a little difficulty for the color to flow in the in the paper so we want the color to spread so you have to wet it even more and while painting you should st uh, you should stop your fan and everything like there should not be any fan or anything because it will start to dry up very fast okay that is one advice i would give uh, to people who do who are not using uh, chitrapat finally you can achieve whatever you want in any paper now what i am doing is i am putting the yellow color okay i am putting the yellow color and how i am putting just see the strokes i am not putting straight right i am putting it in patches like that just see just see the image once you will realize why i am doing it because the sky itself has clouds which are converging near the sun so there is sun somewhere here i am not drawing anything so you have to visualize what i am doing now I, first of all i took some gamboge yellow and i have put a layer of gamboge yellow okay now i am putting a little bit of orange with i am mixing gamboge yellow and orange and then basically i am putting a nice warm tinge a little puffs here and there and allowing this color to just come down see okay simple what i did i just took some yellow color gamboge yellow first i wet the paper properly two three times and once i do, did that what i did i took some gamboge yellow and gamboge uh, yellow ko aise ye angle mein like it should converge near the sun so in those that stroke okay 
so these strokes will be visible after the paper is dry okay so i have tried to capture this this area where the clouds are there and the area where the sun is there so the sun is somewhere here see sun uh, i uh, in the picture the sun is little on the left side can you see that i i want the sun to be in the middle okay i want the sun to be in the middle okay and little little lower uh, not there little lower yeah middle area i am leaving as it is so now it is because it is wet right so what i can do i can still work on on this layer hmm so what i am doing right now gambo jello and little orange but right now it doesn't have much water Pr prior to this it was little watery slowly when we are going to the next stages the quantity of water is going to reduce i am adding little orange to it and see i am just giving those strokes outwards see bahar ki taraf like or you can bring them inwards also but the stroke should appear as if from the sun everything is coming out okay is it is it visible what i am doing samajh mein aa raha hai kya samajh mein aayega banane mein banane ke time mein thoda takleef hoga for this just the own, <laughs> the only thing is the paper should be fully wet if you are using again i am saying if you are using a different brand of paper you have to make sure the paper is thoroughly wet pura geela rehna hai एंड उसके बाद कलर जो आप मिक्स करेंगे ना कलर थोड़ा सा उसमें उस, उसमें क्वांटिटी ऑफ वाटर शुड बी लेस नॉट नॉट टू मच एनी वेज इट विल फ्लो ओके नाउ यू सी नाउ आई हैव डन दिस मच एंड देन आई एम टेकिंग अ डैम्प ब्रश एंड एंड वेर एवर द सन इज लाइक वेरी वेगली लाइक नॉट बिकॉज आई हैव नॉट ड्रॉन आई डोंट नो I am trying to create a halo by the dam brush. I am trying to just squeeze, squeeze out or take out some color. So I am taking out the color using the brush, and around around that, I am trying to create a yellow halo. See, like this. Is it visible? so we have to take a little concentrated yellow for the halo for the matlab sun ke charo taraf jo jyoti hai jo jo uska jo rays hai for that we need this portion to be very very bright so bright means this portion needs to have see i am just taking a damp brush taking a damp brush and just trying to lift some color okay or what i can do i can take some uh, tissue paper roll it and use it wait let me show you this is another method you take a tissue paper make a cone out of it like aisa ek wo bana do and try to just dab it so it will automatically create like it will squeeze in squeeze out all the all the color and it will leave a nice you know uh, uh, sunlight wala ek impression okay done clear now my now, now the thing is my my paper has started to dry the the top portion okay so let me dry this because i want you you guys to do this much and then we will go to the next stage okay actually ideally i could have just completed this thing in one go but it would be very difficult for you you to understand and do it so that's why let's dry this then again i will tell you how to again wet and again proceed okay so i'm uh, uh, like the process stops here you guys have to do it now 
so what we have to do right now is um, uh, see if you if you see the uh, image then what happens is uh, there are puffy clouds here like the clouds are uh, like um, like a puddle of puddle of steam like they are they are very li uh, light and puffy so what we have to do is that and they they also have some highlights in them so what we have to do we have to start from the top and we have to leave in the areas where the clouds are there so we have to basically uh, not paint in the areas we don't have to paint in the area where the um, where the clouds are over there so let me let me show you so first of all i am going to spray some water for spraying water we will use a spray bottle from top make sure that you are not getting big drops you are getting very smooth very smooth water droplets okay or you you can use a big big size the uh, spray bottle also if the small one then try to make sure that it's as smooth as possible so why we are using why we are using spray and not spray bottle and not brush for this who can tell why are we not not using a brush to wet the surface right now why are we using a spray bottle instead yeah if we not mixed but rather your uh, earlier color because uh, the because the brush will be a little harsh so what happens is uh, it will it will start to lift away the color so we want we want a even coating of the water but we don't want any agitation like we don't want to agitate the surface and take out extra color from there okay so that's why we are applying it using a very very uh, soft mist of water using a using of uh, this thing spray bottle okay uh, like if you have a very very soft brush and if you are very gentle with your hands then you can still like see i am i am i am very gentle like i am just caressing the surface of the uh, of the paper i am not i am not being very rough then also it is fine but see you see ek dheere se just uske surface ko touch karte hue chale jana hai okay then also it's okay now again this surface surface needs to be properly wet so you use spray bottle don't don't try this brush method because uh, little expertise i will not say expertise but rather uh, some experience is needed for you to know what you are doing so just spray water from the top okay now let this water get absorbed in the meantime we will create some color like we will uh, try to mix some color so let's take out this yellow completely acha we will be we will be needing yes yes we we first and foremost the surface has to be properly wet uh, sorry dry once it is completely dry then only you have to spray water okay don't leave it semi dry you have to dry it properly first the previous layer has to dry then only we will apply more more uh, water otherwise what will happen the initial layer what you have gets destroyed the initial layer is getting will be locked if you dry it properly theek hai now i am mixing some blue and some crimson color for for this the, uh, for the sky which is over here the starting so it is little darker on the top and when it gets a little down then it develops more warmth more yellow yellowness so i have developed this color okay which is which is a kind of uh, maroonish blue like blue and uh, 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 crimson color mixed together and see the consistency see the consistency 
okay it is little watery right now so what i have to do i have to actually take out excess of water so i will have to use a paper uh, sorry uh, i would i'll have to use a towel so i'll just dab in some color here and then see i am going to start from here and because the surface is wet automatically what starts to happen is the moment i i put the strokes and leave certain areas that's going to blend in very nicely see so what i am doing i am leaving certain areas considering the shape of the cloud very randomly because we don't have to be copying the thing we have to just get the soul of the uh, uh, soul of the entire landscape or i can say we have to get the mood of the entire landscape okay so i have left some spaces here in between can you see that so don't do just see what i am doing here i have left some space here i have left some space and then i am going to add some orange to it because i want to warm the color as i go down i want to warm the color and make it little lighter so the same color what you had here we i am adding a little orange to that and a little one drop of water and see i am just trying to warm the thing up as i am going down little crimson also is fine okay and now as i go even further down the quantity of blue completely reduces i add little crimson and orange together over here see like this okay but what i am trying to do is i am not trying to cover this por portion the sun portion okay and just leave it you can bring it down why because the the bottom part is way darker than the sky so we are going to darken it even further later so what i did right now is how like what is the ap approach of making this sky we we can never make a sky beautiful uh, in watercolor provided we try to copy in the in what you have in the reference so we have to see the, see it then we have to analyze how are we going to attack it so what we did first we did the lighter colors then this is the second light uh, like the second in the degree of tone slightly darker so which is a mixture of blue and crimson color so i started with the top uh, and because the surface is wet so the color starts to start uh, the color will start to dissipate and it will start to spread and i try to create some areas where my i don't want the color to go okay here see now one one more thing i can do just for you guys to see see i am taking some con little concentrated gambo jello okay and if i want just to give a little highlight i can give that also okay just to show you that what else can be done like little i can i can also take away little color by using a damp brush that also can be done i'm just showing you different different techniques kahin kahin pe i can take out some some color or what i can do i can use some tissue paper make a ball like this and i can touch in a few areas to create some random clouds like that see can you see when when i am touching the surface it's actually taking out the taking out the color yes 
so this is just i am i am trying to show you different ways of doing the same thing now this surface is still wet and i want to take advantage of this uh, uh, this uh, wet surface now i will go with a little smaller brush whatever brush i was having i'll go with the next smallest uh, like a little smaller brush so i will mix bl uh, blue color and a bit of burnt sienna blue and burnt sienna are going to give me a nice gray color okay and a little bit of orange okay so or you can just go for blue and orange also that's also fine blue just go for blue and orange so the paper is still wet so i have mixed some blue and orange now what i am going to do is the bottom part of this these clouds like this clouds have multiple colors in them right so the bottom part is dark and the top part is illuminated by the rays of the sun so i am i am going to now create this puffs using this dark color blue color and some orange color mixed together can you see that can you see what i am trying to do yeah bottom of the cloud i am trying to do the bottom of the clouds so i am i am seeing the no doubt i am seeing the reference but still when i am doing it based on whatever shapes have been created here i am trying to do it in that shape okay i i cannot simply you know follow the reference why because our shape is little different now because the color has spread and it has created its own shape so we will we are not here to to just copy things we have to improvise because water is going to create some patches and like the water is going to dissipate in a different way for you it for every one of you it will be different only so i am just taking blue and orange mixed together and then i am just leaving certain areas where i want the shadow of the clouds like the clouds to show up like that see can you see it's it we are we are having the similar effect but not exactly same in certain places you can still add some crimson also and make it like give a little variety to the color most majority places you can use blue and orange at certain places you can at certain places see i am putting this blue and crimson more of crimson like the crimson quantity is more clear see see it's very very calculated like not uh, we we don't have to overdo just a little strokes and just see how the color is blending beautifully now the same same this color what we have blue and little bit of crimson in that we will add little bit of orange okay and i will take out take out excess because i i want a little color only because there is one cloud over here just above the sun okay and then the crimson color so all this thing is happening beautifully because the paper is wet okay if your paper has started to dry then again you have to spray some water from the top okay and then you have to keep doing this repeating the step so i can darken i can lighten everything until and unless the paper is wet now one thing you have to see that here in this por portion it is a little like the what there is a little crispness so i can just add add some drops of water and just diffuse it here what happened is i had used i had used some tissue paper na so this place got dry and as it got dry 
the color over there did not spread so i'm just putting some drops of water and trying to diffuse it okay now see i have this tissue paper right i'm rolling it again i'm rolling it in between i want some i want some highlights okay in between in because the color is now spread so in between wherever i want the highlights right i can go and just touch it over there and you have to you have to make it like a kneaded eraser you have to uh, you know kneaded er eraser right you can you can shape it similarly this one yeah this one is your kneaded eraser this tissue paper so you can just shape it and then wherever you want right you can just create some some uh, highlights okay here also let's say i want to create some highlight here so i will touch it okay you see how nicely the the sky has shown up like but you can see the drama yes or no okay now suppose you see that certain area is needs to be little uh, dark and still there is moisture you, you can still touch it provided there is moisture and touch it means you have to be very gentle right now you cannot be cannot be harsh on that because it has track it has started to dry so once it is started to dry if your brush strokes are very harsh then it will scrape away the paint okay your painting and my painting will never be same and uh, uh, to to get it closer to what i have done try to see what i am doing very carefully like how much quantity of paint i am taking whether or not i am dabbing it on 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 a piece of cloth try to see and if you have doubts like while doing you can ask sir uh, is isme quantity zyada ho gaya what should i do like for me it's uh, it's too much of color so uh, this is this all happens because we are not fully aware of the medium we are not fully aware of what can go wrong how much if we take too little color what happens if we take too much color what happens okay so now uh, i think uh, we have all of you over here uh, jyoti is not there so let's get uh, started with the uh, with the next stage okay uh, malti for you also the color has become too much right you understood right what i'm saying yeah 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 same thing applies to all of you so the quantity like you have taken the correct tone of color but you have applied too much quantity so you can all see what is happening is when you are putting the colors it is all going and getting deposited near the sun because from all the sides the the color is accumulating and coming down okay and then uh, so what you do is uh, acha after this class we we will do a small exercise to understand this okay let's let's continue with uh, the next step and uh, i'll show you what uh, what i am talking about later on okay i'll i'll tell you small 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 things that we need to do okay let me take out some uh, uh, more blue color now uh, this is some blue color now we will work on the foreground which is relatively simpler our uh, major uh, uh, you know pain area is gone right now it is the easier part so we will start with little blue color and we will take little crimson color okay so it becomes a nice purple kind of color yes and a little bit of little bit of yellow ochre so i will now spray the bottom part with some water 
so whatever we are doing we want a haziness we want a nice you know dreamy scape we don't want hard edges in this painting anywhere okay so i am trying to wherever i am seeing a very hard patch i am just spraying water so i i have realized that the color needs to be a little darker okay so more of blue more of crimson and more of the yellow ochre these three colors so i am now yeah so while i am coming closer to the sun what i want to do is when i am coming closer to the sun i will use some warmth so some orange color see okay i'm having like some color spread so i'm i'm keeping some uh, tissue paper with me always so if at all some color spread or something happens then i can wipe it off you see the moment i put some orange out here you can you can see an instant glow right i can put a little bit of yellow also see a little concentrated yellow so that is going to give it a nice uh like effect of of some uh, um, light source behind it so i am trying to darken darken the sides and i am trying to make the nearby areas adjacent places little glowy here okay so what did i do i just used blue color crimson color mixed together added little bit of yellow ochre started with a spray of color created a kind of hill okay here in the picture it's it's a kind of ground but i have tried to create a kind of hill for that extra drama hills are a hill a small hilly area is there and when i am reaching near this surface what i am doing i am adding some yellow and around around the around the yellow there is some orange so that is going to create a nice halo and a feel feel that there is some warmth near the source of light okay and now this portion is going to be even darker like good dark color so blue color and yellow ochre color because it's it's basically a kind of a ground so i'm adding blue color and yellow ochre color blue and yellow ochre so the tone is very dark so i am using a little darker color and remember i had sprayed some water so this portion is going to be if you put even very dark color also that's not a problem because it's it's going to dissipate down is going to go down then i am putting some random strokes like this to suggest some texture like that okay and the same color what i have can be used to create some tree tree texture so what i am doing i am i told this earlier also if you remember i am just abusing my brush trying to make it like a broom and just create some effect like this which will which will let us believe that this is a kind of tree this is not a tree but this will give a sense of a tree so i am just creating this kind of a brush effect for the trees okay see so i am 
I have created a kind of hilly area instead of a flat surface and then I have created this nice effect of trees let let's create some trees here also so it's it's basically creating a broom out of your brush by by dipping it hard right like uh, changing the shape and then twisting it like this and then just touching the surface of the paper okay clear can you do this much yeah let's do this much and uh, like if you want to yeah let's let's do this much i think uh, let's let's do this much it looks now very nice like if i share with you a picture you will you will like it okay understood